Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas and an honest Gymshark try on haul. Quickly, I wanna apologize for all these bags in the background of my video. These are my bags of people I have to buy Christmas presents for. So as I get them in the mail, I'll put them in the bag so they're easily sorted. So just ignore that. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> All right, so as of today, this is the only stuff I own from Gymshark. I have these leggings. They have like the Gymshark logo back here and like the, you know, butt in the very tight waistband. And then I have this shirt crop top thing, black with white writing. And then I have this sports bra, which I think I took out the padding and this is the back of it. And then I have this plain white tee with like the little Gymshark logo right there and it ties on the side like so. So that's everything I currently own of Gymshark. I've ordered stuff from Gymshark in the past. I like ended up hating 90% of what I bought and returned it all. Oh wait, I have one more thing from Gymshark. Be right back. Okay, these are the other things I have from Gymshark. I'm out of breath from running downstairs. Here we go. We're just, you're gonna mess up my transition. We're gonna try to transition like the cool kids. Nope. <laughs> there are these sweatpants which you probably can't even see in front of my black couch. So these are just sweatpants I have from them. This is everything I own so far, mostly neutrals. I got the shirts, the bra, and the sweatpants from the actual website. And I got the leggings from Poshmark, just cause Gymshark is a little pricey, just for me. I don't really like to spend a lot of money on myself. So quick review of them. The sweatpants I almost didn't keep at first just cause I didn't love the fit of them for like being out in public. But for home, I love them. I wear them like every day. I think the butt's getting a little worn down cause I like wore them for working from home so much. So like sitting on my seat. <laughs> These leggings, they're like Gymshark's like famous leggings. You know, they make your butt look good. They squeeze in your waist. But I noticed it squeezes in your waist right here. But then there's like, if you have even the slightest pooch, which obviously I do, I feel like it like accentuates it. So... That's my hot take on these leggings. They're great, but they're not the best. I can only work out in them. I try to put them on and then eat dinner before working out last week and I couldn't do it. They were like too tight. <laughs> this shirt is great. It's just a plain white shirt. It's good for like, you don't want to be fully covered, but you don't want to be like crop top or sports bra. The crop top I love, it definitely does show off like your belly. So it is very cropped. Like, if I move at all, it's like you're gonna see my sports bra. If you don't like that, then it's not the one for you. They have it in a bunch of colors. It's kind of expensive for what it is. I've only ever gotten it on sale for like 20 bucks or less, which is still expensive, but I've actually worn it a lot. And then this sports bra is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, like higher support bra. I love the back, especially on like an arm day, you know, like showing off the muscles. I don't have a lot right now, but I like it. It does make your boobs look like kind of weird shaped in the front because <laughs> of this Thing, but maybe that's just me being picky. Enough about what I already own. Let's look at the stuff I bought during their Black Friday sale. I didn't buy a lot, but I bought enough. Let me grab it. Okay, so here's everything I bought. All neutrals. Sorry if that's boring. Some of it is stuff I already own just in new colors. Some of it's stuff I've been eyeballing. As everyone else says, let's get started. So the first thing we'll try are just these little socks. They're just ones that go with like Vans, Converse, stuff like that, like lower ride shoes. I don't know, but I don't have a lot of these or at least like any nice ones. I have a few nice ones, but I wear Vans like every day of my life and I just got new Converse for my birthday. So I needed more socks. Very exciting I know if you're like a weird foot person please leave thank you but first like my video and subscribe you know but just like don't look at my feet so <laughs> all right here they are nice big logos they have breathable material the little like rubber and the heels there's Brutus he's very intent in this now let's try them on with vans beautiful you can't see them at all which I love what do you think Brutus Let's walk around. They're not sliding quite yet, but I'm sure they will. Here they are. Can't see them at all. Ooh, they do come off when you take off your shoe, but watch socks don't. Here we go. All right, I won't bore you guys with the black socks. I'm sure they're the exact same, just black. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's put on like an outfit. I'm gonna put on these leggings. These ones seem like they have the same kind of waistband as what I'm currently wearing. Except they're brand new, so they're gonna be nice and tight, but they're like a darker gray. And then they have like this texture or whatever down here so let's see how they are oh my gosh these were hard to put on okay oh my god this oh my gosh 
Okay, they're very stretchy, very tight. Oh my goodness, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wow, they look like what the girls wear on Instagram and whatnot. Let me change my shirt or my, my bra. I'm gonna put on this just like black sports bra with Gymshark and then just like a little hole in the back. Okay, <sighs> this is exhausting. But here's the full outfit. Back, we have a little hole right here. Very high-waisted pants. There's like slight booty contour, but it actually, it actually isn't really booty contour. It comes like right here and my butt's like here and it's down here. The front has like, I think I saw someone say like Barbie crotch, which is good. It doesn't have like camel toe, but that is interesting. Can you tell? Don't look my crotch. Very tight, let's see. It's probably gonna do the same as like what the other ones do where it kind of rolls as you move around but then it like flips back up this is very tight and like the armpits and the shoulders but so is the other one i wear it does have removable pads honestly they're pretty cute let me actually look up how much these were and stuff because that'll determine whether or not i keep them <laughs> i wonder if like putting out my honest true opinion on here about stuff like hurts or helps my chances of like ever getting sponsorships or anything okay so the little sockies were eight dollars for three packs each which is kind of pricey but honestly i'll wear those more than i'll wear anything else i buy so it's all good okay so these are the gymshark vital seamless 2.0 leggings and charcoal marl i got them in a size small and they were 30 dollars. so that's not bad for gymshark or like a brand like this but it's a little higher than i would typically spend on myself for a pair of leggings they're doing the same thing where it's very tight i mean obviously you're gonna have some like bulge here and like when you sit it's going to like that's just how it is it's the same it shows like my pooch a little which is fine let's see maybe a little see-through i mean the bra is a classic black bra i'm just trying to decide if like if that pooch you know like i don't really care about the pooch but just like it digging in is gonna bug me oh and this sports bra let's look at it it's a gymshark flex sports bra in black i got a small no 1750 i feel like you can always use like a classic black sports bra but i got this cheetah print one adapt animal seamless sports bra in small 27 dollars let's try it on all right here it is it's very tight <laughs> their material is just like thick like in general it's not like that soft like silky material it's like this thick material which like holds you in but geez stick it into my shoulders but here it is here's the front it's a little more booby than i would like definitely not a thing i would wear on a day where i'm like doing push-ups or anything where like my chest would be out here's the back back is kind of cool and it comes down a decent amount i like when they come down they're not like right below your boobs but it's very tight and it makes me look kind of weird on here like this is like cutting into my boob like can you tell this is like cutting into my boob i have to think about this one i think it's which i say it's like 27 yeah i wanted to try it just because they look so good on other people but it's always very booby on people i have like no boobs so this is booby for me feels higher support there are removable cup pads in here i feel like they're kind of weird okay so i don't know how i feel about them both the sports bras so far have just been really tight which i'm sure they'll like loosen up as i wear them try to do a close-up of the material can you see like how thick that is like it's a thick material i got another crop top because i like my black one this is just white i'm not huge into colors so we'll see if it fits the same yeah it's the same as my black one basically just obviously inverted I actually really like that. Is it starting to show camel toe a little? I feel like these pants may show camel toe. We'll see. But I feel like this is a cute outfit. <laughs> I'll definitely keep this. Let's see how much it was. 20. Gymshark fraction crop top. Got this big white shirt. Here we go. I feel like this is nice. It's a stretchy material. Look at that. Look at that. It's very simple. It's not like gem shark, you know? You'd have to be like a little close to me to read that. Like if you're far away from me, you'd be like, oh, what does her shirt say? I don't know. But I feel like this is good. It's just like a loose fit shirt for those days. You just don't want to wear a sports bra and like a tight shirt or something. I don't know how I'm feeling about this sports bra I have on. I don't think I really like it. It's kind of uncomfortable when I move around. But yeah, this I'll definitely keep. It's great. It has like a little rolled sleeve, which I think is cute. And I'm sure you could tie it if you wanted. No. 
and I just made it really wrinkly. You probably could tie it, but I couldn't right now. I think I just have my sweatpants. So these are the same sweatpants I have, but in gray, because I love sweatpants, especially working from home. Oh wait, no, I have, I have another shirt hidden in this pile somewhere. Oh, it's on the ground. Let me grab it. We got the white shirt and we got the black tank top. Well, this is called the training midi tank in black. I got a small one. This is nice for like those days that you're working out and like leaning forward or doing push-ups so that your boobies don't fall out like they would in this sports bra I have on. And then I think in the photos they like, there's like a slit here on both sides and I think they just tied them together. Is that dumb? To make like a cropped thing? Oh, that seems dumb. What am I supposed to do? Do I double knot it? I'm gonna double knot it and see what that does. It's kind of annoying because if your arms are like down by your side, like if you're like, you know, or like you're going to feel the knots and I feel like that'd be really annoying. I don't know how I feel about this. This is like a shirt I definitely would have worn like my teen years. I had a black cut off and stuff, but I don't know if it's really my style now. I mean, down like this, it's fine, but then it's kind of weird. Like why, why have the slits if you're not going to fold them? I don't know. The material is very nice on this one. It's like stretchy. It seems like it'd be breathable. The leggings have a little bit of camel toe. I'm going to warn you guys that now. So we'll see about them. I like the color though. I like the gray. This makes me look like I'm like an athlete. I'm like sporty, super strong. I don't know how I feel about this shirt. I don't think I'll keep it. Let's see how much it was. $14, not bad. I think the sleeves are too wide and the neck is too small. It kind of reminds me of like a guy's tank top or something, which is fine, but that's just like not really my style. I'm actually gonna change my bra because I, I don't think I like this. It is not very comfortable. Oh my gosh, yeah. This one is tight, but it's not as tight. I like this better. Now we're gonna try on the gray sweatpants. Here we go. Okay, these are nice. They actually fit a little bit different than my black ones. I wonder what size I got in black. Did I have to go in up a size? No, these are both smalls. These ones fit a little tighter than my black ones because I remember the black ones I wasn't sure about because down here, they're a little baggy. Like it looks like they're almost a size too big. And these fit me like perfect. These are cute. Obviously you're gonna see like underwear lines or whatever if you wear underwear with these, but if you're just chilling at home, who cares? And also I guess who cares in general? Let's just do a quick overview. Sweatpants, love. They're not fuzzy in inside. They're like a, not a towel material. They're super comfy, but not super warm, which I think is why I like them because I don't like getting super sweaty sitting around. So 10 out of 10. Crop tops, if you like a cropped top, I love them, 10 out of 10. Lightweight, cover your boobs while you're working out, but you will see your sports bra. Plain white tees, both of them great for different reasons. The one that ties on the side isn't like my most favorite shirt in the world, but it's pretty cute and it's super soft and lightweight. These two sports bras, the animal print, I don't think I'm gonna keep. It's very tight and honestly wasn't that comfortable wearing while recording this for like 10 minutes. So probably not keeping it, sorry. And then the black one I may keep just cause it's a solid black one and hope it stretches out a little. Black tank top, I'm not a huge fan, will probably return. And then these gray leggings are very similar to these gray leggings. I think these may be the vital seamless, like first, first generation or whatever. And this is a second. These don't have the Gymshark on the back. They do have the little tiny Gymshark logo here. And they have different markings. The new ones are like softer, silkier. They were hard to put on because they're so like stretchy and stuff. They're definitely gonna be like a little see-through. You can tell, that's how I do my test. Like you can see my fingers. They have very slight camel toe as you move around. So last night after recording this review, I decided to try working out in the leggings and I literally had them on and was just like getting ready to work out. And I caught a little glimpse of myself in the mirror and I was right, they're see-through. You could literally see like my underwear <laughs> and they weren't even like super dark or anything underwear. They were like pretty medium toned. So those are being returned. It's not like the most obvious thing. Like it's not like super see-through, but I'd say it's like a five out of 10, if that makes sense. They're being returned. I see these ones, I actually don't know. I actually think they're gonna be more see-through than these ones, just barely. See, and then this sports bra I love, super comfortable, a little tight. You wouldn't wanna wear it like all day long before a workout. All right, sorry if this like review was kind of chaotic. I don't normally like film reviews like this of like a bunch of stuff at once, but I'll keep learning. What's your favorite thing from Gymshark if you've gotten anything? Cause honestly, I haven't been like as impressed as I thought I would with everything I've tried, but maybe I just try not their best stuff. 
because I'm cheap. I don't know. But the few things I do keep, like the sweatpants, the crop, and some of the leggings and sports bras, I do really like. Let me know in the comments down below what else you want me to do for Vlogmas, for videos in general. I have ideas, but if you have anything you want me to review or you want me to talk about or do, let me know and I will add it to my list. All right, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me along for Vlogmas. I'm so excited. This is my first time doing it, so I'm gonna try to do every single day. Sorry if I miss any days, but the plan is to not miss any days. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!